Okay, this video is to explain a few things to some people who might wonder why I'm making a YouTube channel that was not about the subject into guns. DIY guns versus 150 bucks for a shotgun. This is a 12 gauge pump shotgun, very standard. This and a 22 caliber rifle or pistol are the most common things used in North America that I know of. Why? It's a practical device. Now, if you can buy it in the United States, under almost all conditions, you can legally make it. So a DIY activity of building something, unless it's for technical reasons, this is the reason you don't have to do it. You can just buy them. And you can get them from a really low-cost shop. I'm just looking here on a website. 150 bucks for a, a generic pump-action shotgun. Why, why a pump shotgun? Because they work. Because you get more than one shot. And if you're trying to DIY it to get away with breaking some rule or law, you can legally buy what is, in essence, a sawed-off shotgun. It just has a bizarrely long barrel compared to what you're thinking of, because the whole thing has to be at least 26 or 27 inches long. And this one takes a full-length 3-inch shell. It's a 12-gauge, and it's 200 bucks. And if you want to, you can get something that cannot be accused of skirting the law because it has a folding stock. The folding stock makes it to where you can have a short barrel if you want to. And yes, even though I'm going to, ha even though saying this is a bad thing, you can get one and just not ever unfold the stock, and you have essentially the same thing. The previous one is used and street legal. This one is also street legal, brand new, temporarily out of stock because of demand. A uh, pistol grip shotguns that are 26 or 27 inches long, depending on how they do it, are very popular for a very simple reason. They're the minimum size you can legally have with a 12 gauge that can use slugs or pellets. If you put in double up butt shot, you're shooting the equivalent to like several, you know, 38 caliber bullets or whatever. Then we get to the next one. If you really want, literally, just to go that one step, it's another hundred some odd dollars. 150 bucks, and there you go. And it's literally, at this point, it's called a Shockwave Pump Action 12 gauge, but they don't say shotgun because this is considered a firearm. This is a giant ass overbore, smooth bore gun. I mean, they can't even call it a shotgun because it's missing too many components to be called a shotgun, even though it takes shotgun shells. And you can also just buy a really large bore pistol and put in 410 shotgun shells in it because some pistols will let you get away with it, especially the weird ones that are break open that look like tiny little shotguns. If your argument is that you want something that looks scary and tactical and whatever, you should really just get this. It's cheap. And so are you if you're trying to be some street punk. Okay? But if you want to make one, there's no excuse unless you're doing it for technical reasons. Now the reason uh, that this video is going to be titled, Why This Channel Is Not About Illegal Guns or Unnecessary and Absolutely Worthless DIY. The video series I'm doing is on DIYing weaponry in the United States because it's an interesting technology and you don't have to make it to where it shoots anybody and hurts anybody. The whole point of the channel isn't that, but the whole point of the channel is fact. I'm building up to doing a video, a penultimate video, that explains what the laws are in the United States concerning firearms. Because, again, that's a shotgun. That's a firearm. It's not considered a shotgun. It's not a pistol, even though it looks like a pistol grip. And it's not a rifle because it isn't rifled. It's missing all the components to put in the proper definitions. The legal system we have in the United States is based on definitions done by blind leading the blind or stupid leading the stupid. And yes, legally speaking, if you build something just like this that does everything like this, and absolutely, positively, is identical, it isn't illegal. Because in order for it to be declared illegal just for you, the rules and laws would have to say you had to spend a certain minimum amount or you had to buy it from a specific type of company that is allowed to do it. That's not allowed in the United States. In the United States, if you could buy it from somewhere, you're allowed to make it as long as you don't sell it, as long as you don't ever give it away. Well, yeah, you can later, but that can't be your original intention. If your intention is to build these to sell them, 
your variation of it, some patent that's 200 years old and is out of date and expired, you're allowed to do it. But you have to get a gun maker's license. You have to be a gunsmith. But you don't have to go through all that trouble if you DIY, which is fine, legally speaking. But again, no, really, seriously. Just don't. Unless you're doing it for technical reasons or you want to build a test bench device, which only needs a three inch barrel, but legally speaking, you're not allowed to do it unless you're a gun maker, just, just buy a cheap one. And rifles are like this too sometimes. Just saying. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.